Hey everyone, Merrick here. I'd like to discuss in this video my changes over one month, four weeks of testosterone. So to kind of begin, uh, my dosage so far has been at 0.5 milliliters of testosterone per week for the first four weeks, and then finding out my levels change. If you've seen a couple of my other videos, I've discussed it. I uh, definitely my um, nurse practitioner has moved me from a 0.5 milliliter to 0.6 in the hopes of upping my almost 600 level of, testo of testosterone in my body up to uh, closer to 1,000, which is the most I should, be ha I should um, have in my body without it going, changing it back to estrogen. So to start with, I'd like to discuss a couple of changes that have gone on over the past four four weeks. My voice, excuse me, has lowered. It's changed within four weeks. Definitely lower. There's a gap in my voice where I can talk kind of higher and then it comes to a point where I can't talk that high anymore and then there's a gap and then I have a falsetto. So <laughs> I can make tiny squeaky high sounds but then my voice settles into this lower register that reverberates and uh, I'm ra rather pleased with it. And and I know it definitely helps me present myself how I want to be presented. So that's positive. Some other things have changed kind of on the physical aspect. Uh, some hair growth, not tremendous, just growing back faster. Um, when I shave what I have, it grows back faster. I'm getting some really painful acne in some places. I've started to use more of the facial scrubs um, that's been recommended by my physician for that reason, um, which is helping, but it's it's not the best. And let's see, those are the main changes I would say that have stood out most. Some things that I, after seeing other people's videos and talking with other trans guys, what I'm going to be dealing with most in the next couple weeks, so weeks 5, 6, 7, and 8, so my next month, is really nothing much happening. It doesn't seem like it's happening, at least it's happening so slowly that whatever's going on, like my voice will lower, I'll notice that, but besides that, nothing else is really going to happen for a while, and um, that'll take time, and it all just takes time, but once... I get to that year point, I know I'm going to be much happier. So, so far so good. I don't have any complaints, I except for, I guess, my menstrual cycle, which has my mouth thankfully just spotting, but it's been almost three weeks. So it's been a long, long, long time for something I terribly dislike and so for something that makes me feel disgusting and want to stay in bed all day and not talk to anyone and that's a mental thing I need to get over, but it's definitely not easy. It's never been. It's never been easy. Um, it's something you deal with. And uh, that covers all that physically. And what I said I'm going to be looking forward to or dealing with the next couple weeks that are going to be hard and some mental changes that are probably going to come up. I know I'm very irritable at times where I can get a little hot-headed and I recognize that and I know I'm doing it now um, my partner Jay definitely keeps me in line he kissed my butt he's like no listen you you're acting just rude like stop and uh, it's nice to have someone there who really cares enough to tell you listen chill out why are you really acting like this where is this coming from so we discuss it and uh, it's good to have someone there to do that with. And something that happened this week that was pretty exciting or eye-opening for me. I was at the post office picking up a package that was in my name that's on my ID. And my picture hasn't been changed. Nothing's been changed yet. And <laughs> this guy looks at me, the clerk, he's like, looks at me. He looks at the ID. He looks at me. He looks at the ID. He notices the address and everything is the same. He asks me, where do you live? I'm like, well, I'm at one, uh, 
13, 21, blah, 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 and it rattled off the address. And uh, he's like, he's still confused. And he's like, okay, like, like I have another ID if you want to see it. And he's like, I, I believe you. You have this ID on you. There's, take your package. And he just seemed really confused. And it made me think, maybe it's time for me to change that ID. Maybe it's time to go through the name change and the gender marker and get my picture changed. It's just probably time. And uh, I will ponder over that over the next couple weeks. And um, maybe I'll go in for my like 23rd birthday or something and get it done then. Uh, but that's what's going on right now. And... Um, like other than that, not, not much has changed.